Hi guys, Jay Smith here, welcome to Ask Golf Nut channel and welcome to Mizuno Pro 245 against Mizuno JPX 923 Hot Metal Pro. Very long name. So this is the final in the series of the Mizuno Pro 245 against different irons, obviously from completely different ranges. This is Mizuno Pro and that's the JPX. So JPX is kind of down the much more game improvement iron. You have got the tour there, which kind of sits in a weird zone, but you've got mostly game improvement side on this side. And then you've got the Mizuno Pro, it's the MP. The 245 has got plenty of tech in it. It's had a massive tungsten upgrade. And so it is now much more forgiving than the old two, uh, 225. There you go, lots of twos, lots of fives. But the JPX 923 Hot Metal Pro has got all of the tech within it. 4335 Cromoly, really thin, seamless face cup, low center of gravity, V chassis, stability frame, whatever you want to call it. Everything on this iron says go and go as fast and high as you possibly can do but it's also got in the Hot Metal Pro slightly better looks. And so it can be blended because these are fairly close lofted. 28 and a half degrees for the Hot Metal Pro and 30 degrees for the 245. 245 has got copper underlay, that's chromoly as well. It'll be interesting to see how they feel difference. Obviously one's forged, one's cast, one's got copper underlay, one hasn't, but it has got the HIT, the harmonic impact technology, those little ribs underneath the uh, top hind, which you can see if I get up on the screen. Um, right, let's go get the simulator on. Let's go see out of these two, which one works best into a green, the feeling, etc. And then I will also be doing my normal forgiveness testing to see actually out of these two, even though this one's got loads and loads of tungsten, being the smaller golf club, actually, which one is more forgiving than the other? Right, let's go get the simulator on. Let's go see how they feel. So similar is now on. We are at Blue Bayo. It's a normally a par four, but I've scooted the uh, tee up as such on the old fairway at 180 yards. Obviously, these are fairly punchy irons. Anyone likes a 241 when it comes to blade looks? Well, this looks basically like that blade, but every kind of area has been blown up a little bit. So top lines are medium. I wouldn't say they're thin. Obviously 241 would be thin, that's the blade. But then sole thickness again is medium. Blade lengths though are actually quite nice. They're not very big. And if I can get all the information up on the screen, I'll try about the characteristic differences between the Hot Metal Pro and the 245, because Mizuno do have a comparison tools and many different comparison tools. I, I like this one because obviously this is copper underlay. It's more looking like a blade and I'm a blade player. So I do like the look of this. Right, let's go give this one a hit to see what the feeling difference is. Down by the golf ball, we've got a marginal amount of offset there, but not much whatsoever. Let's go give it a hit. Left side of the green. Wow, look at that carry. Woo, yeah. Um, yeah, 91 miles an hour, path slightly across, face slightly closed. Absolutely nutted strike. Zero mil hill, zero mil high, zero mil everything. 35 yards in the air, 46 and a half degrees ascent angle. 188, eight. yeah. Um, but that's 20 yards longer than my 7.9. <laughs> it's just like, wow. But then again, this is lofted very, very similar to that of my six iron. And my six iron doesn't do that. By, by, by no stretch, it doesn't do that. It, it's chromoly, hollow bodied, tungsten, rocket ship. There you go. All right, let's give it another go. Feel-wise on that, as you can just imagine, um, solid. That's left. That's going to go in the drink. <laughs> so bad. Bye. Go on. Get in the drink. Oh, no, we got away with that. Uh, club path across. That's what I'm struggling with at the moment. Path across, face shut, by left. Uh, feel though, nice, three mil toe, one mil high, 34 yards in the air, 45 degrees ascent angle. So even that is not ideal because I obviously shut the face. That's not gonna go as high. Um, it's still, fun well, it would stop if I hit the green, but it's functional. 188 yards of carry again. Wowzers. Right, let's see if we can actually hit the grid. Although saying that, I shouldn't complain too much. We are hitting 190 yards of carry. Now, I will be doing this test basically at my normalish speed because I want to see if there's a difference between these two. Normal, when it comes to these singular reviews, I will do these at different speeds. And the reason, not every single golfer swings at 90 miles an hour, they're seven iron. And so by doing the test at 90 miles an hour, 80 miles an hour, 70 miles an hour, different golfers get an understanding of how these will work. When it comes to a comparison though, guys, we don't really need that. What we really need is understand whatever speed 
is there a difference? Is there a peak height? Is there a launch? Is there a spin? Is there a control? Is there a carry? All these differences that there might be. That's what we need to see. Give it another hit, because they do feel quite nice to hit, these do. It's just a rocket. It is just a rocket. Now that is my path across face open. That's what I'm doing at the moment. I'm gonna to have to work on my swing a little bit to try and get my uh, zero zero back. Path across, face open, slightly healy. That's what happens. Uh, 184 yards of carry though, not bad. 34 yards in the air, 46 degrees descent angle. That is stopping on any green at 184. Now, okay, if I was to have a full set of these, uh, I wouldn't be using four iron. Absolutely, I wouldn't be using four iron. The chances are, um, this is going 185 or so yards carry, uh, which is in between my six and five iron, I would only need a six iron. And then after that, I'd go straight into my hybrids. But this thing is just like rocket. It's functional, it's just going. And it feels nice too. Again, that's that copper underlay. You can definitely feel it in there. Right, last one before we flick over. Again, hugging the left-hand side. Oh, look at that. Just good. Club path slightly across again, face is zero this time, three mil low, two mil toe. Um, it just feels lovely. Uh, 35 yards in the air, 46 and a half degrees ascent angle. Again, stopping on any green, that will. Uh, 188 yards of carry. Yeah, it's a, um, it's a rocket, shall we say. It's a nice golf club. It's something that I would definitely see a lot of golfers blending into. Again, the Hot Metal Pro, you can blend with a 245 if you want to go 245 in the scoring irons and then go into something like the Hot Metal Pro, which potentially may have a little bit more assistance getting the golf ball up. It's a bigger golf club, even though that's got near on 50 grams of tungsten. Right, let's go flick over data sets and let's go see how the 923 Hot Metal Pro gets on. Back now, we have changed the data sets. I think we've got a lovely light green line about to appear. Um, I have pulled the T back a little bit, 185 yards now, because the 30 degree lofted rocket ship um, was going further than I was thinking. And so um, this potentially a degree and a half stronger in its lofts may all go a little bit further than I was thinking. And so we're at 185, although I'm thinking I should have done it more close to 195 of how I'm hitting the golf ball today. The Hotmail Pro has a chrome bar in all around the back edge. So on the top line and the frames that hold back. So even though the top line on the Hotmail Pro is bigger, is definitely bigger than that of the 245, you don't necessarily see the difference because that chrome barring around there kind of or blends it off, you don't really see it. And no different when it comes to sole thickness. Sole thickness definitely is thicker, but again, you've got that chrome bit at the back makes the sole look smaller. Blade lengths are definitely bigger. And then offset, if you put it down by the golf ball, it looks as though it's got a fraction more when it comes to the old offset, not a lot. I mean, this is a hot metal pro. So if you go to the hot metal, yes, they've got more, well, thicker top lines, thicker soles, more offset. You can see the difference between the two, but this has got all the help that the Hot Metal series gives. Let's go give it a hit and see how it feels. Because if it's anything like the old 245, I mean, I think I'll be airmailing this green. Decent hit. That is gone. Oh yeah, holy smokes. These things are mental. Fully warmed up, slightly high in the face, slightly toed. You get away with that no problem whatsoever. Uh, path is slightly across. Hey, hey, again as normal, that's why it's gone left. And face is zero. Um, but we're 37 yards in the air, 47 degrees ascent angle. At 191 lovelies. 1.39 efficiency. Uh, yeah. Now, feel-wise, you, you can feel that it's cast, yes you can. But actually, compare it to the 245, it's not as loud as a lot of game improvement irons. And this effectively is a game improvement iron guide. Even though you've got top lines and sole thicknesses, which are smaller than the standard hot metal series, this thing is full on game improvement iron. Would I use it? No, I could probably use it in a long iron. Yeah, definitely. If I had to go four irons, for example, I would definitely choose this because it's gonna have all the help and I possibly may even choose it over the 245 just on functionality alone. But that is like a, yeah, rocket. 
Let's give that one another go. He's given four shots a piece. Ideally, on not that line would be good. Slightly different strike that time. Slightly low on the face, but that's still gone. Holy moly. I think I need to move the team further back. Pass slightly cross, face slightly closed. Please go left. <laughs> it's a rocket ship. 192 yards carry, 35 yards in the air, 46 degrees descent angle, even 192 yards in the air. That is stopping. Now that absolutely completely just trounces on my five iron. My five iron is 27 degrees. So that's a degree and a half stronger than this, but this is going the same distance and it's going, I mean, it's just, and it's shorter. I mean, the five iron is an inch longer than this. Every club you go up and down is a half inch step. So an inch longer, you're gonna get more club head speed. Again, you might get a bit more variation on strike because as soon as you get further away from the old work, you do get a little bit more varied in your strike, but I mean, you, you can't complain on, that's just mental. It really, really is good. I mean, it's, I mean, that is gone. <laughs> so, oh, look at that green. Wowzers. Have a go at putting on that thing. Club path across, face open this time. Strike is very, very good. Um, lies not. But then, yeah, that's the whole thing. 37 yards in the air and 47.3 degrees descent angle. That is stopping on any green and potentially, I mean, yeah. That's, uh, that's rather impressive. <laughs> that's a rocket ship. Feels actually really good. Considering it's cast, it is cast. And those HIT bars at the top there trying to dull the old sound out is working really well. I mean, it, it really does work really well. Now, of course, we're hitting the middle. And so I need to be testing these all around the face because generally speaking, you're looking at this kind of comparison. You are looking at going to be the game improver that really wants to go into a player's side, but can kind of justify going two, four, five in the scoring irons, but then definitely will need these and they're harder to hit irons, long irons, etc. So we will be testing them from all over the face. But that is just lovely. Right, one more one before we flick over to do all the data sets of how well these do. Oh, why did I do that? There you go, low heel. There's a big old bound on the green there. Low heel. Now, ever since my um, issues, shall we say, with um, path and face are creeping in, my propensity to miss strike uh, low heel has crept in, of which I'll be honest, I don't like. And so uh, I need to move my path back over from the inside. But to do that, I need to spend a little bit of time away from YouTube and spend some time on my swing. Um, but you see the, the penalty in it comes to the, I mean, that's a really bad hit. I mean, 12 mil heel, nine mil low, that's just properly terrible. And if you're hitting shots from there as a, as a norm, uh, have a lesson. Oh, I thought for a second there that was going to start going, but no, that's good. I mean, yeah, back again. 1.2 across. There we go. Face is zero. Slight, I was, that shot there, I had to feel like I was hitting it half inch off the toe. And I'm five mil. It's just how I'm off at the moment. Again, paths across, but it's going 37 yards in the air again, 47 and a half degrees ascent angle, 190 yards of carry. Face is dead on, no side spin whatsoever. It's just a straight bullet, 190 yards. <laughs> right, okay. So um, on first thought, between these two, feel wise i would think i'd marginally give it to 245 yes it has i mean obviously that is hollow bodied but it has got the copper underlay and this is cast and it's a very thin face and it is a rocket ship and so i'd give the win when it comes to feel if you want softness to the 245 at the moment it looks as though even though this is slightly stronger lofted this goes up quite well and it stops quite well and it also goes a long way and of course this one <laughs> as you saw before, is not far behind it. Right, let's go get it off of this. Let's go whack it all over the face. High toe, heel low. Not too many more heels and lows, please. But yeah, all around the face for both of these. And let's go see, out of these two, which one is more forgiving. 
Let's go straight into the ball and club compare screen to see how well these work compared against each other. Now you can see by the flight straight away, you can see the green, which is the Hot Metal Pro, against the red, which is the 245. The green goes further. You can see that in the flight, and also you can see by the right-hand side, the dispersion ring, there is a slightly bigger dispersion ring when it comes to uh, the Hot Metal Pro over the 245. And it's because of that face. We'll get to the face. So the ball speed difference, 124.8 to 123.4. So there's 1.4 miles an hour difference between the Hot Metal Pro and the 245. Hot Metal Pro does, it goes faster than the 245. If you look at the uh, club head speeds difference though, there's that, I actually swung the 245.1 of a mile an hour faster than the Hot Metal Pro, but delivered 0.6 of a degree more loft. Now, of course, um, there's 1.5 degree static between these and what I deliver is the most important thing. And I delivered 0.6 of a degree difference. But you can see by the efficiencies, 1.37 to 1.35, just a hot metal pro is just a faster face you can't get away from the fact that the chromoly in there i think it's 4335 against 4130 or something like that in the 245 it's just a little bit faster the face the heads are bigger uh, the whole body of the hot metal pro is bigger than the mizuno pro 245 and so you're going to get a little bit more bang for your buck when it comes to that face springing so you're gaining four extra yards you're losing about 300 rpm difference between the two the 245 spins 300 rpm more but remember guys when it comes to different speeds etc if you start taking speed away and you, you swing at 80 miles an hour and you compare these at your speed your spin rate will be lower yes it will but all the difference will be lower as well and of course if you swing faster the spin will go up but the difference will go up as well all the other numbers within reason were very close, within 0.6 degree when it comes to the attack angle, face and path, etc. Very, very close. The only thing was obviously dynamic lie. These are not fit for me. Again, these are media samples and you kind of get what you're given. To measure forgiveness, we need to first find out what happens when you don't, um, well, when you hit the middle, but then measure when you don't quite hit the middle. So we got a maxed out on the Hot Metal Pro first. We got a four mil heel within four mil, four mils. Yeah, it's very small. Face is zero to a um, loft of 24.6, 1.38, which is pretty darn good. If you then go to the 245, two mil toe rather than four mil heel, so six mil difference, but it's only two millimeters difference from the um, effective middle. We are looking at a face of 0 0.8 closed to 0 0.6, so very, very similar, and, and loft within 0.3 of a degree between them. So with, within reason, like for like, perfect captures um 1.38 on the hotmail pro 1.36 on the 245 so there you go another example of the efficiency difference bang for your buck how much ball speed do you get for your clubhead speed the faster face on the hotmail pro is just slightly more springy and so you're going to get more spring uh, more ball speed for those middle strikes um let's just go from a normal heel strike now 10 mil heel one mil low on the hot metal pro path is across face is open Yep, that's what happens today for my delivery anyway. 23 degrees of loft, so there is a slight um, loft reduction, so we call it 23 degrees. At 1.35, so it's lost 0.03 from perfect. If you then look at the 245, 9 mil hill, 3 mil lows, rather than, what was it? 10 mil hill, 1 mil, so 11 mil to 12 mil, so actually slightly gross-wise, um, the 245 is slightly worse by a millimetre. Yeah, I won't worry about it. Face is zero, um, and more loft this time. So again, you've got slightly more open face but less loft of a, of a hot metal pro as to a square face and a slightly more loft um, but 1.35 again and so this i would actually give the win definitely to 245 why because we are at the same efficiency 1.35 1.35 the difference is we have lost 0 0.03 from the hot metal pro and we've only lost 0 0.1 from the 245 so the win on the heel goes to four five let's go slightly more heel now four mil low 12 mil heel um, face is slightly closed on the hot metal pro and 24 degrees aloft as to the 245 15 millimeters dead and so 16 mil growth to 15 mil gross one mil in it um but zero face but 27 degrees aloft rather than 24 so there's three degrees aloft difference in delivery between these two yet we're efficiency is 1.33 um against 1.33 so even though they're the same efficiency that's only 0.3 from the 245 max but it's 0.05 
from the uh, Hotmail Pro. So again, bigger drop off when it comes to Hotmail Pro away from its maximum. So the winner goes to 245. What happens when you hit it low on the face? Again, we've got that 50 grams or 46 or 47 grams, whatever it is, of tungsten within the 245. Going up against the bigger golf club, the bigger sold, uh, lower further back center of gravity just because of physical size of the Hotmail Pro. Hotmail Pro here's efficiency is 1.31. The face is slightly closed and the loft is 23 degrees, 26 degrees, sorry. 11 mil low, three mil toe. If you then go to the 245, 10 mil low, two mil toe. So within a couple of millimeters, exactly the same. Face is square, but slightly less loft. So you've got the difference between the slightly closed face, slightly more loft against the square face and slightly less loft. They'd both cancel each other out. And I won't bore you with exactly why, but they would cancel each other out all within a very, very small margin, 1.33. 1.31, so you'd have to say within reason, possibly the winner goes to 245. It's not like what we're talking about the heel. The heel, I would say absolutely 245 because of that tungsten and the Hot Metal Pro is designed to be a bit more forgiving, definitely more forgiving off toe strikes. That's design of itself to try to be more forgiving off toe strikes. When you hit off the heel, the smaller golf club in 245 with that tungsten, which goes across the bottom of the golf club, all the way, as in all the way horizontally across, um, it's just more forgiving. Let's go toe. Let's go see what happens when you get off the toe. 12 mil toe, zero mil high. So a standard normal half inch within reason off the toe. Uh, 23 degrees with a zero face. That's 23 degrees aloft with a zero face for the Hot Metal Pro, 1.36. So it's lost 0 0.02. If you then go over to the 245, within reason, the very, very similar 11 mil toe, 11 mil toe, two mil high. So 13 mil gross to 12 mil gross. Face is basically square and face is 25 degrees. So it's two degrees more um, loft on the 245. And we are seeing a drop in its efficiency, but I'm delivering two degrees more loft. So if you do the adjustment from that, it's 1.32, that would probably be 1.33, I would say, if you added that one on there. So 1.33 against 1.36, you're still, one's losing 0 0.02, one's losing 0 0.03, the Hot Metal Pro wins just. So the winning on the heel, definitely 245. It could go either way on the low, but it's just now we're starting to move toe side. The Hot Metal Pro is now starting to win. If you then start moving a little bit more toe, let's go 18 millimeters toe, two mil low. So 20 millimeters gross, Hot Metal Pro. You've got face is zero to a path, which is slightly across. That's classic me. And 25.8 degrees of loft, 1.35. I mean, this is working really quite well. Um, that's 0 0.03 from perfect. If you then move over to the 245, uh, 19 millimeters gross rather than 20. So within one millimeter, exactly the same. 25.2 degrees aloft rather than 25.8. So half a degree less loft than, yeah, so little, so basically the same. Um, but we're looking at 1.32. So that's 0.04. So it's still doing exceptionally well. I mean, anything hit nearly 20 millimeters off horizontally from the middle, and we're just losing that small amount um, is, in, is doing really quite well. But you'd have to say the winner is again, Hot Metal Pro. So the conclusion of when it comes to the forgiveness, obviously this is measured data right up in front of your face so you can physically see it and it's verified by the information i put on the screen looks and feel okay looks personally i prefer 245 because i'm a blade player so i like the looks of the fat blade idea of the uh, 245 it has got a slightly smaller top line has got slightly smaller soles it has got slightly smaller blade lengths when it comes to the hot metal pro it's a bigger golf club it does look very much so like the normal standard hot metal pro range but it is out of the hot metal pro range of the hot metals at least it's the smallest nicest looking one it has got the thinnest top lines it has got the uh, smallest soles and has got the most reduced offset as well. It's supposed to be all the help you get from game improvement iron, but more of a player's look. Feel wise, 245 wins because of the copper underlay, even though it is hollow bodied against the cast nature of that of the Hot Metal Pro. But then again, the Hot Metal series with that HIT bars underneath and all those different things inside the head to try and quiet them down because obviously nothing feels like a Mizuno. Um, it's just trying to make the golf club feel as soft, as quiet as possible. Performance, if you're looking at raw performance, the winner goes to Hot Metal Pro. The Hot Metal Pro just fires off that face. It really does. It works like 
properly. Well, and if your motivation for these two is for maximum distance, go Hot Metal Pro. Hope you liked the video. If you did, thumbs up, go on YouTube, likes it, so do I. Down there, it's a subscriber and it's great for the channel. It's free, so if you could subscribe, thank you. And next to that is a bell icon, that's a notification bell. If you click that one, that will let you know next time I upload another video. So I hope you're well, and we'll see you again soon.